Welcome back. This is Mr. Lindsay with another drawing lesson. Um, for this, we're going to try a self-portrait, which means drawing a picture of yourself, and basically from the shoulders up, so your face, your portrait. A mirror might come in handy, just so you can see some details that you might not notice, like, do you have freckles? What color are your eyes? Um, what does your hair look like? I mean, these are all things that we need to see. Now, as far as drawing the portrait goes, there's a lot of things to take into consideration, like how do we draw eyes? Are there different ways to draw eyes? How do I draw a nose or a mouth? How are there, there's different ways to do that. So we want to practice a little bit. Here's a cool handout that I found that um, actually Mr. Jerusalem made. So you probably have seen this one maybe similar before, if you had him before. And I might use that for uh, an example. Here's another one that I found with some different ideas for how to draw a portrait. But just to get you started and give you some pointers, this is what I'm going to start with. The eyes. How do you want the eyes to look? Well, there's different ways. You can make them a little bit more simple. Here's a simple eye. If I start off with a curve like that, and then maybe a little oval here, and then I could leave a highlight somewhere on the eye and then shade it in. That could be an eye. Okay, the other eye would be right next to it. So two eyes. Okay, so that could be a way to your eyes. Um, maybe I do uh, an eye with a little bit more of a circle here instead of an oval. Maybe it's a little more circular underneath. Okay, another eye, a little more circular in here. Okay, I could always add eyelashes if I like on the corners. There's a couple simple eyes. Um, I could get more detailed with the eyes. I could make them more of a full, full eye, like the full shape, which would be more like this. Kind of like the shape of a football. Okay, and then inside of here, I draw a little curve on the edges. And then inside, I would draw the rest of your eye and the pupil. So maybe right about here, draw part of a circle. And then there you go, an eye. I could add my details like uh, this could be colored in here later. So maybe inside I choose and say, okay, my eyes are brown or green or blue. You could add some color. I'll just use my pencil for that, but that's where the color would go. Um, you could add an eyelid. I can add an eyelid to that if I like. Okay, so more of a full eye. You could do that for your project if you like. You could make it more simple though. I could skip some of those details and just do the football shape like that, really, and I could just draw that inside. So maybe my eyes look like that, if that's easier for you. But there's some ideas to get you going. So drawing the eye could be as simple as that, could be these, or it could be like the full eye shape. So those are some samples. Maybe drawing the uh, nose. Let's try that next. Simple ways to do a nose. That could be a nose. Okay, I could do the same thing the other way. That could be a nose. I could do the bottom edge of the nose. A little curve, that could be a nose. I could add a line to it on the top. So that could be a nose. Um, let's see here, I could make this bottom edge curve a little bit. Okay, this could be a nose. I could go back and I could add the sides. So that could be the nose. There's so many ways to do this. Um, maybe a little curve with the sides. Okay, so it's it, there's so many ways you could draw a nose. Look at yours and see what it looks like. How do you want to make it? Here's the way that I normally draw a nose. Like if I'm drawing the full nose, I'll do it with a pencil. I draw a ball for the end, the tip of my nose, and I draw a curve on each side for the nostrils, and then I draw the side of my nose, and then I draw this part of my nose, the bridge of my nose, the part that's in the middle. When I'm done, I erase part of that circle, like the top half of it. I like to draw my noses like that, okay? So there's my idea for a nose. When I'm done, I'm just going to darken so you see it better. but. There's that. 
There's that and that, and then the sides. So there's so many ways you can do that. What does your nose look like? Well, look at it and see. Try it. Try it in different ways. Um, the mouth. So things for the mouth. I could do a curve for a smile. I could do a curve with a partial smile, like a grin, maybe the corner of the mouth. I could do um, a straight line. That wouldn't be smiling, okay? I could draw it with teeth. A line down the middle and some teeth. So I'm smiling with my teeth showing. I could draw the lips on the mouth, which would look kind of like this, a little V in the middle. There's the top lip and then the bottom lip. Okay, so try different ways. What do you think works best for you for when you're drawing the mouth? How does yours look and how do you want it to look for your self-portrait? Okay, so there's just a page of ideas, just things to practice. Now, I'm going to grab a fresh sheet of paper and try sketching out a portrait. <clears throat> um, I like doing this in pencil so I can make changes as I go. That's up to you. You could do this with um, a marker later. I would start with pencil to get going, but um, that way I can adjust things and change them as I go. The first step to the portrait, though, is drawing some sort of an oval shape for the head. So let's start with that. I'm doing this in pencil because most of you at home will probably do this in pencil too. So there's my head shape. Now, dividing up the head into parts. Well, usually there's a line about in the middle right here to divide it in half. You won't see that when we're done, but we want to divide it in half so that we know that the eyes are in the right spot. One eye is even with the other. We also want to draw a line about halfway here from top to bottom. That's showing me about where the eyes need to be. Eyes should be along this line. And then between the eyes and the chin would be the bottom edge of your nose. And between the nose and the chin would be about where the mouth is. So I draw a little line there. So this is showing me kind of an outline of where things go. Your hair would be all up in here, so I could draw even right here maybe. This is like the top edge of my hair where my bangs might be. <clears throat> so I can continue from there, but that's just giving you the idea. Longer hair is going to look different. Okay, so if I have longer hair, maybe what I do for my hair is different. Maybe I do a part in my hair like this and a part on this side. Okay, and then I can draw the rest of my hair going out and around and down. And then the other side, out and around and down. So if I have longer hair, that might be more what my hair, what your hair looks like. Mine doesn't look like that, of course. I have really short hair, almost no hair anymore. But if you have longer hair, maybe that's how you start your hair. I'm going to leave it longer since that's where I'm at. I'll just leave it like this. But look at your hair. What does it look like? Is it straight? Is it curly? Is it short? Is it long? Okay, later on you can think about what colors you need for your hair. But for now I'm just going to do that. All right, so longer hair. Now on to the rest of the face. So the eyes. Like I said, there's different ways we can do this. I could draw an eye like this. The top. And I could just draw a shape right here. That could be an eye. Okay? I could make it more detailed like I showed you in the beginning. It's kind of up to you. How do you want your eye to look? I'm going to keep mine like this for now. And then draw the other side, the top of the eye. And then maybe add this part here. But feel free to make them as detailed as you want. You can use different types of eyes. Like I said, there's some different ways on here that you could be doing your eyes. This kind of gets shaded in. This would get shaded in. Good. I could add eyelashes if I want. Don't forget you have um, eyebrows. So the eyebrow may be right up in here. I could draw a little bit of an eyebrow on each side. Okay. The nose. We had a lot of ways to draw the nose. Do I want to do one like this? Okay, that's a good way to draw a nose. Do I want to do the full nose like I was trying to show in the beginning here, in the very beginning of the video? I did this, the sides, the sides. 
Okay, that could be a good nose. So how do you want your nose to look? I'm going to leave mine like that for now, but how do you want to make your nose? And then the mouth. Am I going to smile? Am I going to see my teeth? Um, how do I want the lips to look? I'm going to make mine curve a little bit so it's more of a smile. And I could add the lips to this if I want. The top lip right, right here with a little, like a V in the middle almost. Bottom lip. There you go. So mine's got a little smile and I can see the lips. Okay, that's a good start. Now, all these extra lines that you see, that's to help you draw it. But once you have the main thing done, then you'd erase some of that. Maybe I'll draw the ears before I erase this line. The ears, this line will help me. An ear maybe about here. And then maybe, there we go, that line will help me so the ears are about the same on both sides. Okay, now I can probably start erasing these. Like this line I can get rid of. It's in my nose, I want to fix that. I can get rid of it here. And I can get rid of it on the chin. Okay, I can get rid of the line around the eyes. I don't need that anymore. That was there to get me started and to help me draw the eyes in the right place. There we go. That's a pretty good portrait. I like that. That's turning out nice. Now, this line here with the head. Now that I have the hair, I don't need that anymore either. So I can get rid of that line. Okay, so there is a portrait. Now, the neck and the shoulders, I like to add that in so I can see a little bit of that. So I would draw a little bit of a neck here, showing a shirt. The collar of your shirt would be something like this. And then your shoulders are going to come out and then kind of curve down on each side. So my shoulders are in here. Okay, what do I want on my shirt? That's up to you. You can draw your favorite thing on your shirt. What do you like? What is your favorite shirt? Maybe you draw that. Maybe you put your name on your shirt. The hair can go all the way back in now. Okay, so there's a pretty good portrait right there. Um, practice. Practice the eyes. Practice the nose. Practice the mouth. See how you do. Try drawing your hair and practice that. Like I said, the hair is going to be tricky because they're all, everyone's hair is a little different. So, depends on what yours looks like. That's my uh, example with the longer hair, but I also showed you what it might look like with shorter hair. So I'll put a few samples out there for you. You can use them to help you and um, look in a mirror, see how you how your face really looks. Okay, I forgot one thing. I like to show glasses too. Maybe you have glasses. They could be square or oval or round. So there's maybe one there. Curve in the middle. The other one. And then the lines to your ears. If you have glasses, you can add the glasses. Okay, color. I can add color to it. If I have the right colors at home that work, then I can add some color. If you don't have the right colors, then don't worry. You don't have to color it. But if I have the colors for this, then yes. Try to find a good color for your skin tone and for your hair. Maybe test color on a scrap sheet of paper so you don't do the wrong color on here. And then test it out and see what you like. So you could add some color to it when you're all done. And... Um, Freckles, I could add details like freckles, so think about that. These are things I think about as I'm drawing. I'm like, wait a second, freckles. What if somebody has freckles on their cheeks? Okay, so I'm going to stop there, and you go ahead and work on your self-portrait, and I look forward to seeing what you uh, end up with.